princes have always lived in palaces. They don't need to worry about land or air because they always manage to find a lovely palace wherever they travel. Take a look inside one of Saudi Prince's $485 million flying mansions and you'll see what it's like to be a prince right in front of your eyes. Welcome to our channel and today we'll be looking inside the world's most expensive private jet. So, stay around till the end if you want to explore the royal's life. Prince Al Walid bin Talal Al Saud, a billionaire, has a taste for opulent planes. He owns a customized 747, an Airbus 231, and a super yacht that was featured in a James Bond movie, and he was on the verge of ordering a customized Airbus A380 but decided against it. It's all due to the financial crisis which appears to be affecting the super rich as well. He was dubbed the Warren Buffett of the Middle East for his astute business acumen and he came close to investing in the world's largest private jet. That shouldn't stop us from applauding the effort put into building the plane which can carry 800 individuals and has a luxurious, marble-finished Turkish bath as well as a parking place for his Rolls Royce. This lovely behemoth of a plane was supposed to have everything, including lifts, a boardroom, guest staterooms, a hammam, and wellness areas. The beautiful spiral staircase goes to the boardroom and serves as a main structural feature on the jet. The lift connects three floors and also works as the separate entrance to the owner's cabin. The jet's boardroom is as stunning as any other, complete with a cutting-edge table that doubles as a gigantic touchscreen. This is how the luxury suites appear and there are four of them on the plane, each appropriate for a king and his entourage. To enhance the heavenly experience, the beautifully built prayer rooms include some technology. Electronic mats in prayer rooms autonomously turn to face Mecca. Two Rolls Royce cars and a bunch of horses are supposed to be accommodated on the Super Jumbo. The aircraft is powered by four Rolls Royce Trent 900 engines with a combined thrust of 72,000 pound foot, giving it a maximum speed of Mach 0.96 or 1,020 kilometers per hour and a maximum altitude of 43,028 feet. Al Walid, Saudi Arabia's King Abdullah's nephew, holds 95% of Kingdom Holding and chairs it. He is Citigroup's largest single shareholder with stakes in News Corp, Euro Disney, Apple, Time Warner, and 4% of Twitter, as well as other assets in Saudi Arabia and the Arabian Peninsula. The prince holds the George Song Hotel in Paris and the Savoy in London, as well as 47.5% of Four Seasons hotels and resorts. He has multiple ships, more than 200 automobiles, and three magnificent residences totaling 5 million square feet. Normally, the passenger cabin on a large plane would be divided into two sections. The first would be a car park where one or two luxury cars could be transported. You didn't simply fly halfway across the world in somebody else's non-diamond studded cars after all. A wellness room is located on the second half of the bottom deck. This space is carpeted on the walls, has large sofas, and a massive LED TV screen on the floor. This TV screen is coupled with high-resolution cameras that are pointed straight down, giving you the impression of soaring over the landscape. To complete the impression, scented air is pushed into space. The jet's business center and the crew facilities and cockpit are located on the main deck or level 2 of the plane. You can enter the two meeting rooms by going through the grand lobby with the hovering spiral staircase. Each of them has a holographic desk that can display holograms of business colleagues via video chat. A music venue next door has a stage, a grand piano, and seating for 10 people. From this one, you can access the 20 VIP suites which are similar to those found on some of the world's greatest first-class airlines. Of course, if you had this personal A380, you'd want to discover where you'd sleep. 
The five luxury cabins are situated on the upper deck. Each room features a king bed and its own bathroom and shower. On this deck, there is also a small area where you can unwind outside of your bedroom. Also, there is a dining room in this mix, although the blueprints aren't clear on where it is. Looking at the stats, the plane would be able to carry 50 individuals and have a range of 17,500 kilometers or 9,400 nautical miles. When compared to the previous A380, that's an additional 1,400 nautical miles. Although Airbus no longer has the option to buy a private A380 because production is nearing an end, there is a slim potential that an existing A380 may be retrofitted with a few of the concepts discussed earlier. As per Aviation Week, there were extensive plans in 2018 to convert one of Singapore Airlines' first retiring A380s into a flying yacht. According to the source, converting an A380 into a private plane would be less expensive than buying a new A350 or Boeing 777. With a growing number of A380s being retired into the near future and few purchasers, you still have an opportunity to realize your goals. Prince Al-Walid hired the interior designer at Essay Doré, a private plane and mega yacht expert, to turn the aircraft into an aerial mansion. That procedure began in a straightforward manner, at least by our standards. For the prince and his friends, Doré built a 14-seat dining table with plush chromed chairs and a glass chandelier, all in calming, neutral tones. Financial documents reveal that the prince ended up selling the A380 to Saudi King Abdullah. However, a financial minister refuted the allegations, and the prince claims it is irrelevant who he sold the plane to. Nobody will ever know what happened to the prince's A380. How did you find this luxurious super private jet? Let us know below in the comments. If you enjoyed and want more videos like this, hit the like button to inspire us. Don't forget to subscribe to get notified about future uploads on this channel. Thanks for watching.